Hi, in this video I'll show how to use application for converting Paradox database um, file, Paradox DB file into Microsoft Access MDB file. Um, you can see on my computer I have a Paradox DB file and I don't have Paradox installed on this computer and it's not required to have it installed. However, I have a um, Paradox DB Viewer. It's a free app. It's I will leave link on this app into the description. It's showing what is inside uh, a Paradox DB file. And you can see we have uh, some fields, uh, text fields, uh, number fields, and date time fields. And I'm going to convert all this data into Microsoft MDB database. With application I will install from uh, this website. I will link on this site into the description. To find application, I click on search and type paradox to um, access. And I need this create MDB uh, um, page. I'll click on create uh, paradox uh, to products to access uh, link and click on download and wait until archive will be downloaded to my computer. I will be recording more videos on application like this and um, so if you're interested on Paradox converters on or and on Microsoft Access converters so if you're interested please consider um, subscribing to my channel and hit that bell button so you will know uh, about new apps uh, coming out. Um, also, it's important to have a Paradox file closed if you have it open into any other app because it may, in, may, it may interfere a uh, conversion process. You can see Paradox uh, has been, uh, archive has been downloaded on my computer. I'll click on downloaded archive, double click on MSI to start installation, click on more info here. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. So I'll just click run in a way to start installation, click on next, next install, click on yes and click finish on file screen. And now I can close this and this and this. And you can see application has been installed on my computer. I have a new shortcut on my desktop Paradox DB to access. I'll double click on the shortcut to launch app. Now conversion is three steps process. In step one, we will have to select Paradox files we would like to convert. So I'll go to my documents. Uh, Paradox DB directory and select Paradox file I would like to convert. I can select multiple Paradox files if I want to convert them all into one uh, Microsoft Access MDB file. But for now, I will just click, select one, click on next step. Here I can select create new MDB file or select an existing MDB file. If I select existing, this Paradox table will be added at, uh, into existing um, MDB database, but you have to be careful, make sure that the table is not existing to existing MDB uh, database and so on. So I'll create new MDB, click on next, and on final step, I'll just click run to start. And you can see it's reading record from um, uh, Paradox database, and now it's ready to save it to uh, uh, MDB and asking me for name and location. This name and location is okay, just click save. And you can see a file has been saved. Let's go and open this file. Again, I don't have access, Microsoft Access on this computer, and it's not required to have Access or Office installed on this computer to do the conversion. But I have a MDB viewer, I will leave link on this viewer too. And you can see MDB database has a one table with all uh, data converted in here. So yeah, basically that's it. We converted uh, Paradox to access database. If you have any questions, please leave them in comments below. Um, if, you, if you want to see more applications like this, um, Please uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button so you will know about new apps. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you.